you are in the dental industry and you've been looking for a podcast that talks your language one that isn't boring and one that's for the entire profession we've got you covered this is the dr nilo show if it's dentistry we're talking about it new trends equipment and supplies to make dentist lives better and easier and we'll dive into the business as well topics of concern economics patients and more dr nilo wants to help you grow your dentist business and brand let's Let's do do it it. this This is is the the dr Dr. nilo Nilo show Show. and this is your host dr nilo hernandez happy fourth of july welcome to another episode of the dr nilo show i am dr nilo and we're in july The year is halfway gone. So Gulf Coast Dental Conference coming up soon. And uh, I hope you're all going. I hope you're all attending. It's going to be quite an event. Biggest one they've ever had from what I'm hearing. They've added 100 extra rooms. It's right on the beach. Get your whole family out there. Have some fun. So... Let's talk about something. I had an interesting call yesterday from a dentist. And um, dentist placed a couple of implants. They were fully buried. Uh, waited four months. And uh, uncovered them. And what he found was uh, one of the implants had integrated or at least appeared so. And the other one had uh, a little area all the way around the threads. He didn't understand why, but it was loose. He had to remove it, clean it. And uh, luckily, he just put some bone graft in there. He used an osteogen plug. But he called me up a little confused and a little worried. Um, You know, obviously, he had to handle the patient. The patient was disappointed. Uh, and uh, he didn't have an explanation. So he's a past student for many years, and and, uh, we've all been there. We've all seen things like that happen uh, occasionally, and and, uh, some of you more often than you want to admit. And once you've placed uh, a lot of implants, I'm talking thousands, you'll find that Anyone that says that they don't have issues like that is just a blatant liar. Those things happen. Uh, Sometimes we can explain it. uh, Sometimes we can't. I asked them clearly if the soft tissue was completely healed and there was no opening. He said there was no opening. He had to flap to find it. So that was strange. I asked him what was there prior. He said it was a totally healed ridge, not a recent extraction, not a a grafted site. So interesting. Uh, As I kept talking to him, I asked him what kind of implants he was using. He mentioned it. I'm not going to mention it on the show. Uh, I asked him, if uh, both implants were sealed, he said yes. They both came from the same order or batch. And uh, there's only one thing I can think of. There was some contamination, right? Uh, has to be some contamination either in the sterilization of the surgical kit, the burrs. Uh, did he overheat the bone during osteotomy? creation. The other thing that comes to mind and and more frequently I'm trying to make sense of it is the actual implant contamination. Now you all buy implants and they're FDA approved and they come in sterile packs and all and, and the last thing that we think about is that the implants themselves are not quite as clean as we want. And that's one of the things that we're finding. We're finding that uh, during the manufacturing and the sterilization and packaging of these implants, 
they build up a corrosive layer, carbon deposits. And uh, the longer these implants stay in the package and sitting on your shelf, the more corrosion they build up. And uh, we never really think about it because it's closed. It's, it's a sealed package and why not? It's a piece of metal and, and uh, whoever thought that this stuff could expire. Well, in fact, it does. And uh, if you have two screws and one is partially covered by corrosion, you put them in the bone and certainly the bone cells are going to have a harder time trying to find that roughened surface, that plasma coated or blasted RBM or to attach themselves, right? So here comes a company that's been doing quite a bit of research into this field for a long time. And they've developed this machine. It's a small machine, not very large and not very expensive either. But at the time of implant surgery, you can take any implant really um, and place it in this machine for about a minute and it'll totally disinfect the surface. It'll clean all the carbon deposits. It'll remove all of these impurities, all of these corrosive elements from the surface of your implant. Whether you're using a top brand or, or a lesser known brand or just something that you had laying around for, you know, God only knows how many years. I, for one, have implants that I probably had for 15 or 20 years sitting in a drawer. Uh, we just never got around to using those or that size or, or that company any longer. And, some of the ones that I have, even the companies have gone belly up for years. So using this machine, it's called the ActiLink Plasma Generator. And uh, what it does is it disinfects your implant surface and it creates a very hydrophilic layer. So when you place it into the osteotomy, the biomechanics of what happens, as we drill into this bone, we create a wound. We basically create a scar and, uh, and, and uh, a blood clot is formed. So the more hydrophilic, meaning the more fluid the cells can uh, approximate themselves to these implants, the better it is. And um, the studies have shown that a huge percentage of increased uh, osteointegration and cellular approximation. You know, it's a funny story. Years and years ago when uh, we were teaching courses and everyone was talking about uh, osteointegration. And the more we, we looked into the biology and the bone biology of what this actually meant. Uh, and we were we were certainly working with smooth titanium surfaces back then. Um, the RBM and the blasted surfaces hadn't quite come out, but it still holds true today. It doesn't really integrate. It approximates. I called it osseo approximation. Why? Because the more of these bone cells that attract themselves to the surface of the implant, and basically lock it in almost like the old bear hug. So it, it grabs that implant nice and tight. And that's what we want to create. The more osseo approximation we can create, the tighter the implant is. So you can take it one step further. You place your implant in, then you grab a penguin, you put your tool into your connection, whatever that connection is, and uh, you get a numerical value. This uh, tool is something that every single implant dentist should keep in their back pocket. Because whether you're going to immediately load it or not makes no difference. If you get a baseline, I guess, immediate approximation and immediate stability level, a number, 
and you write it in the chart three, four, five, six months later when you uncover it and you do the same thing, you can see numerically if there has been more of this stability increase. And uh, for not a lot of money, it gives you a very good sense of security. I invite you all to check out the unit. It's called the Penguin. Now they have the original one, which is uh, the tried and true one that's been used for many years, and they've just come out with a new one. Now what's interesting is the Penguin 2 is the same. The number small screen is on a different side of the handle, so it's easier to see while you're using. Um, that's really the main difference, but they both act the same, and the multi-unit tool is the same. Um, whether you got the old original one or you're picking up the new one. And if you're buying one in these days, why not get the newer one? It's got a nice rechargeable base. We don't have to plug in the cable anymore. You just drop it in the cradle. It's very nice and uh, works very nice. And you should definitely look into that. Go to our website, quantumhh.com. And uh, you can read up on the ActiLink implant disinfection device. And also look at the Penguin. These two units work in unison. They work together. And uh, those of you that have listened to me for a while and have already picked these things up uh, are learning that you're seeing less failures. You're seeing uh, better integration. You're seeing better adaptation of your implant cases. You're seeing less cervical bone loss. You're just seeing an overall better implant case. And that in turn gives you peace of mind. I mean, you can go home, lay on your pillow and smile because you did a fine job. And every single patient that's breathing that we see wants everything that they paid for to last forever. I always joke they want it to last until they're three feet under and six minutes into their box. But that's not necessarily the case and it doesn't always work out that way. We all know that. Uh, there's a lot of factors that come into play, not just trauma uh, and not just perio disease, but systemic factors and we're going to have a show totally dedicated to that uh, very soon but for now i wanted to give you this insight and uh, quantumhh.com is our website check out both the actilink implant disinfection device by a company called plasma app and check out the penguin uh, by a company called the septico we're dealers for both these companies. And uh, if you're coming out to the Gulf Coast Dental Conference mid-July, uh, we're going to have both units there. And uh, you're going to see it. You, we can talk about it. We have some special promotions for the show. Almost $1,000 off on the ActiLink uh, while at the show and for the month of July. And... Uh, we have nearly $500 off on the Penguin too. So take advantage of it. Shoot us an email, info at quantumhh.com or check it out on the website. You can order it right there. Uh, and you're going to be surprised. Your implant cases are going to be better. No questions. Uh, they're going to be better. They're going to work better. They're going to last longer. And you're going to have more satisfied patients. And that in turn adds to a better practice, more referrals. And that's really what this is all about. Our role, our main purpose at Quantum is to help you, our dentist listeners, to just have better practices, to grow your practice, make more money, have better satisfied patients that refer more and stay with you longer. Uh, that's our end goal and that's what we're wanting to do and that's what we expect to do. So, um, shoot me an email, personal email at info at quantumhh 
Let me know what topics you'd want to, to discuss. And uh, for those of you that speak Spanish, every single one of our podcasts is going to be translated to Spanish very soon. And we're going to have some specific podcasts uh, in Spanish. I am bilingual. I can speak both languages. Heck, I can even do one in Morse code if you want. No, I haven't done that in years. But uh, today's July 4th. It's early in the morning. We're getting ready to go out on the boat. I just wanted to hop on here and, and uh, give you a quick little shout about uh, this phone call that I had yesterday that was uh, troubling and enlightening all at the same time. I think uh, this kid is going to do better. He's picking up both units today, or so he said. And uh, I think he's going to have a much better time. So until next time, thank you for being a part of the show. I look forward to uh, being with you again. Uh, enjoy your 4th of July. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And come on out to our booth at the Gulf Coast Dental Conference. Check out all of our equipment. Check out our special show prices. And more importantly... Uh, we're raffling off a whole box of Denicote Classic. It's valued at nearly $380. Um, just drop your business card, pick up a ticket, and uh, we'll be doing uh, the call out for the raffle winner on Saturday morning. And that's uh, July 15th. So, hope to see you all soon. Take care and be well. You've been listening to The Dr. Nilo Show. Our passion is to talk about all things dentistry, new trends, equipment, supplies, and anything else to make your life easier and better. With guests from within the industry talking about topics of concern, economics, patients, and more. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. And we'll be back soon. But in the meantime, for a ton more of information, hit the website at www.quantumhh.com. Take care, and we'll see you next time.